Good evening, dear friends. It's good to greet you once again. We are well into another new year, and as the days lengthen, so the cold strengthens, says the old proverb. However, it is good to see the rhythmic pattern of nature unfold before our eyes. During these days, we have seen the force of the uh, wind uh, and the water and have felt for families that have lost life and substance because of the situations that they are in. I am reminded of an incident recorded in the Bible. It happened on the Lake of Galilee. Jesus and his disciples were in a boat crossing the lake when a violent storm blew up. It was so bad that the seasoned fishermen in the boat felt that they were in danger of drowning. They wakened the Lord Jesus, who was asleep in the back of the boat. Lord, they said, do you not care that we are drowning, we are perishing? They wakened the Lord Jesus, who was asleep at the back of the boat. And the Lord stood up and spoke to the wind and the wave and said, Peace. Be still. It is recorded that there was a great calm. The disciples were amazed and said, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the wave obey him? Not only did the wind cease, but there was a great calm. Immediately, the wave settled immediately. Now we know that that was quite supernatural. Uh, the waves don't cease immediately uh, normally. But that the voice of Jesus and the word of him, the, there was a great calm. And the disciples said then, uh, they were amazed. And they said, what manner of man is this? that even the wind and the wave obey him. The Lord Jesus is the master of all creation. Dear friend, as I write to you and speak to you, and you listen to this, your life may be in a great turmoil. It may be your health, or a family friend, or a neighbour who are going through times of trial uh, and, and difficulty. It's quite a distressing time when you go through this. And many of us are going through this at the present moment. Maybe it is a trying situation with finance or whatever is troubling you. The Lord Jesus calls out to us and to you and says, Come unto me, all you that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If you have a Bible, uh, you may want to... Uh, read something about it. If you look for the book of Matthew, it's the first book in the New Testament. And uh, look to chapter 18 and read what it says in chapter 18. Read it slowly. Let the words of Jesus speak to you. And if you do so, the Lord Jesus will uh, speak to your heart. And as you do so, please listen to what he says. And I will let, ask that you let the Lord Jesus speak to you. Believe in him and trust in him. And he says that whosoever 
believeth in me, I will give peace and rest. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will find rest for your soul. In these days of turbulence and difficulty, whom can you trust and whom can you believe? Well, dear friends, we look at our television screen, we read our newspapers and we just uh, are anxious about what's going on around us in the country. But when you turn to the Bible and read concerning the Lord Jesus and you place your trust in him as your saviour, there will be peace and calm brought into your soul and you will find the salvation of God. I say something that's great. The peace that passeth understanding. And some of the hymn writer said, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when troubles like sea billows rolls, whatever my lot, I content to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Dear friend, you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in his death, he died for you at Calvary, and all will be well with your soul. May the Lord bless you as we go forward into the new year. Good night. <laughs>